my name is Rosa de Boer. I am a PhD candidate at the Paleomagnetic Lab, Fort Hoofddijk of Utrecht University. Welcome to this poster presentation on untangling the complex magnetization of Archean dikes using micromagnetic tomography. The samples for the study were collected in southwestern Greenland and are part of the Ishua supercoastal belt depicted in this figure. The samples are composed of Archean basalts that experienced green schist to amphibolite facies metamorphism over time. What's so interesting about these rocks is that they supposedly still contain their natural remnant magnetization. This means that analyzing their magnetic signal could reveal the paleo directions and paleo intensities of the early Archean geomagnetic field. One of the problems that occurs with the magnetic signal of archaic samples is that due to their age, they have been subject to all kinds of thermal and chemical influences, which might partially or completely override the natural remnant magnetization. This results in different magnetic grain populations that are difficult or even impossible to analyze with traditional paleomagnetic bulk measurements. Micromagnetic tomography is a recently introduced method for analyzing individual grain magnetizations. It combines scanning magnetometry and micro-CT data and, by means of mathematical inversion, it calculates the paleo directions and paleo intensities present in the rock. This is the first time that MMT is applied for a geological case study. This image depicts the preliminary results obtained over the past few weeks. Several populations of magnetic minerals are present, including magnetite and pyrotite. These minerals vary greatly in size, shape and magnetic flux signal. With micromagnetic tomography, the magnetic signal of the individual populations can be determined and interpreted. In order to achieve this, we determined the individual magnetizations with scanning magnetometry, obtained spatial and volumetric data with a micro-CT, and chemical data with an SCM. We are going to apply inverse modeling to determine the paleo directions and paleo intensities per magnetic population. And with the addition of dating the magnetic minerals, we hope to match the various magnetizations to metamorphic and other past events. This approach might lead to new information on the history of Ishua and of the Archean geomagnetic field. Thank you for your attention. I'd be happy to answer your questions in the virtual poster hall.